you got yourself an internal SSD and searching all over the web to find which one would be the right heat sink for my internal SSD and which one will fit perfectly inside the PS5. This is the boy JC. Thanks for tuning in. And I got some answers for you right here for your question. Before you, I got two heat sinks that are going to try to see if they'll fit inside the PS5. So keep back, relax, and enjoy this video. Welcome to my own damn pocket. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and hit that bell. All right, what I got before you right now is the two heat sinks that I disassemble. On the right, you got the Jones Bro, you got the heat, you got the thermal patterns, and the top piece and the bottom piece. With the Nankui, you just got the bottom piece and the top piece. It looks like something is missing, right? I would think so too, but it's nothing is missing. Peep this. With the Nankui, it got the thermal padding already pre installed. That is I love this already. It makes it easier to install on the top and the bottom. And look right here. To me, I don't know what to call this. To me, it's like a brace. So you've got the internal SSD. All you gotta do, slide it in. Boom, see? You ain't gotta worry about it shifting. You ain't gotta worry about it shifting, it's still stay in place. All you gotta do, put the top in and boom. With this now, Unlike with every other on the market, you got to get the get the the top, peel off the film, put it put it on, peel off the films again, and put it on, and then slide on the internal SSD. That's it's it's easy, but it's a little bit time consuming. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, I like something where I can just plug and play, very quick and easy. Put this together yeah so this right here to me is a champion right off the bat so i know all of these you got to put them you got to remove the film the plastic film and then put it but for the interest of time we already know what it is and i'm just going to put them inside the playstation 5 and i'll see if they'll fit that's the main reason that's the main purpose of the video to you to see if these heat sinks will fit inside the playstation 5 and i can tell i can tell right now this one is a winner. They, Nankui, they think they're thinking outside the box. Instead of you putting in the work, they put in the work for you. You see right here, it's pre-installed. All you gotta do, peel off the plastic and do your thing. And also another Easter egg. Inside this Nankui casing, they make it so easy to install it into an SSD. If you look right here, you got a you got a like a groove. All you gotta do, slide it in. See? And it holds it. Slide it in and hold it just like that, and then it, then it do your thing. You just you just slap this bad boy on, and boom! Look at that, easy, quick. While this, you're probably gonna take maybe about a minute or two. Cause you gotta peel off the film, slap it on, peel off the film, slap it on. Let me get this out. Aligned it and all of that stuff, and then put it in. While this right here, the Nankui. You probably could do it in less than 30 seconds like i show you peel off the film slap it inside here it ain't going nowhere you see that boom slap it on and you're done ladies and gentlemen this is a win right here big win now no this is a real test will it fit inside the playstation 5 um space that's what we're going to find out right now Okay, I also forgot to I forgot to mention something. I'm sorry. With the um, John's bro, John's bro, the small one, as you can tell on the sides, it doesn't have any holes for for screwing any screws because it doesn't come with a screw. What it does though, in the in the side here, it got a groove. It got a groove. So all you gotta do, on the right here, see, all you gotta do, put the heat, put the thermal patterns in the heat sink, and slide it on, just like that. So this one, I like it too because you, you don't have to go with the screws and all of that stuff. All you got to do, thermal paddings, heat um, thermal padding, internal thermal padding, slide it on like this, slide it on. No screws or anything, you're good to go. All right, now this is a plus right here. But like the Nankui, the Nankui, you ain't got to do none of that. It's already pre-installed. Now. Let's see if they fit inside the PS5. Now here comes the fun part. 
we got the joints bro which is going to be up first now with the heat sink it comes with two thermal padding a thick white one and a thin gray one i would say use the gray one because when i tried the white one it was too thick and it and the top won't slide on because it doesn't have screws it won't slide on so use the, the gray one and like i said this is just for demonstration purposes only and right here you got the spacer you put it in the slot where it wherever the, the ssd is if you have an ssd that's a 2230 42 6080 put it spacer in the slot where it, where it represents now will the joints grow fit let's find out i lift it up a little bit boom this one is very thin look at all that let me, let me see if i could go in real quick look at all the space that's left look at all the space the whole lot of space this is very very thin now let me go back out now this shouldn't be a it shouldn't be a question if it will if the cover can go on it shouldn't be a question <laughs> without question because it's so thin easy now my, my new favorite oh let me get this out real quick i forgot all about this i like it but i just don't like you i just i like it it's very sl slim i just don't like you have to do extra work my new favorite is a little bit on the girthy side it's a little bit girthy but the assembly is so easy as i showed you earlier on the video it's so easy you just slap it on and go it's already got the thermal padding inside so shout out to nankui you guys did a fantastic job with this heat sink will you keep it cool that's what we're going to find out when i when i do my next video when i get to um test out the, the internals inside now but overall for right now this is a win perfect you have a little girth to it very easy to install you just slap it on now now the question will it fit let's find out just up slide it in i guess it have a little bit of girth to it it does have a little bit of girth so let me just be gentle with it i'm being a little bit too rough yeah that's my fault i'm being a little bit too rough i apologize because i'm trying to hurry up real quick and without any issue it fits perfectly so with all the other heat sinks in the market my money is on the nankui perfect now let me wrap it up my overall assessment on these heat sinks the john's brew i like it it's very very slender i give it i give it a thumbs up for that i think they could do a, they could do away with the, with the white thermal padding because it's too thick and when you're going to put the internal ssd you're going to give it a hard time to close so i give it a nine out of ten because of how slender it is and it's so easy it is to, to um put in the e thing you just slide it on and boom okay why well, i took off one point off of it it's just a simple fact um hmm. why i took off that point i take it off because you have to do too much work that's where that's where i, I did a point because you got to slap the thermal padding on and to peel off peel off the plastic film slap the, the internal in and then oh, too much assembly now nankui this i'm definitely keeping this is a definite win reason why i love it i give it i give this a 9.5 out of 10. let me give it let me tell you the reason why i give it a, i took off half a point the fit and finish is perfect and it's it's already pre-installed all you got to do remove the film slap the uh, internal in and you got this back you got this bracing right here so it will fit so it holds the internal ssd in place and also you got this groove so all you got to do just put the internal up in here and it will fit so all you got to do is slide it on and boom now where you take off the half a point the girth it's just a little bit too wide as you see in the video I, I, I struggled just for a little bit it wasn't it wasn't too much of a struggle but if Nankui could just take off just a little tip of the width perfect overall my money is on this i love this this is keeping it so Nankui, if you're watching if you're watching this is what you need to do make it just a little bit narrower and you have a perfect 10 heat sink so if you guys out there on the fence try to find out which heat sink you want to get for your um internal sd these two are good like i said the size is perfect the height is perfect the problem is you got to do too much work in assemble even though it's easy 
but you got to say put in work. This, you ain't got to do no work. Then could do the work for you. All you got to do, peel, plug, and play. This is JC. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Love, love y'all.